Good morning, and welcome once again to Lighthouse Missionary Baptist Church. Our scripture lesson this morning comes from Joshua chapter 7, verses 19 to 23, and Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 to 8, and it reads as follows. Then Joshua said to Achan, my son, give glory to the Lord, the God of Israel, and honor him. Tell me what you have done. Do not hide it from me. Achan replied, it is true. I have sinned against the Lord, the God of Israel. This is what I have done. When I saw the plunder, when I saw in the plunder, excuse me, a beautiful robe from Babylonia, 200 shekels of silver and a bar of gold weighing 50 shekels. I coveted them and took them. They are hidden in the ground inside my tent with the silver underneath. So Joshua sent messengers and they ran to the tent and there it was hidden in the tent with the silver underneath. They took the things from the tent and brought it to Joshua and all the Israelites and spread them out before the Lord. In Galatians chapter 6, 7 and 8, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. What a man reaps, he will sow. Whoever sows to plead their flesh Read that again for me to hear that. Whoever sowed to please the flesh. Well, that's how I'm so much. From the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the spirit, from the spirit will reap eternal life. I'll speak to you today from the thought God is not poor. God is not poor. You know, we have the nerve in the God Lighthouse to think that we can fool God. That He does not see or pay attention to what we do. Just because punishment is not handed down by God at that moment does not mean that we have gotten away with sinful or disobedient behavior. <clears throat> Truth be told, Lighthouse, there's absolutely nothing that God does not see nor hear. And just because he has not chosen to punish us does not mean that we have fooled him. That we have fooled God and gotten away with behavior contrary to his will. What's happened or what is happening in society today is that we have allowed our minds to become clouded with doubt. And this has led to disbelief and total disregard for the truth of God's word. We willingly take in every word of the false teachers of our day while pushing the word of God further and further away. Until it has until it has absolutely no meaning to us and no threat of judgment from God. Many of the things going on today, some of it being in the public eye, is mind boggling, which much of it being done by those who call themselves Christians, who somehow think that they have got one over on God. Look at Achan's sin for a moment. God's command was clear. No one wants to take any of the spoils of battle. God knew there would be much left up after the, the victory was gained by Israel. God knew that it would be tempting 
to the warriors who fought side by side. So God told them ahead of time, don't buy all the stuff that's left. Leave the spoils of battle alone. Don't take the gold or the silver or the fine articles that have been left behind. I have not sanctified any of that. To leave it alone. But you see, human nature crept in. And got the best of Achan. Who for a split second in time made a bad decision. And thought that he could take from the spoils of battle to think that God could, have, could not possibly know what he has done. To think to himself that with all these warriors and everything going on, God couldn't see what he had done. He may have gave that command, but there's no way that he knew or would know, know that he had helped himself to the spoils of battle. A split section, second decision of my house. You know, that's all it takes. A split section, second decision that had tremendous consequences, not only for him, but for his entire family. It's the same thing for us. And we do it all the time. A split second decision causes major problems in our lives. Because we didn't think, we acted. Because we didn't think that folk were fine out. What's at stake? Aiken's fate says it all. It cost him his life and that of his entire family, all his livestock, everything that he was attached to or affiliated with. It all had to pay that price. For us, it would be a job, career. It could cost us our family. What's at stake? Too much. Our salvation. That's at stake. So my clear closing words to you is, are these. Live each life to get there. Live each day to the glory of God. And above all, always remember that we serve a God that is all powerful, all known, and sees everything that we do, whether good or bad. Be mindful, Lighthouse, just because he did not address your sin or your disobedient behavior at that moment it occurred does not mean he has not seen what you have done. Don't be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. So don't think for a second that you got one over on God. God doesn't work that way. He certainly does not forgive. Just like many of our mothers used to put switches up on the shelves because they didn't have the energy to deal with us at that moment. A lot of us as children thought, whoa, hey, I'm going to hey, cut out that, that, that uh, whooping I'm supposed to get because two, three days passed and that switch is still up there. So you must have forgotten. Mama didn't forget. God does not forgive. And I'll say that verse again as we close. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. What happened? To society. What has happened to all of us? 
always remember above everything else you do in life God cannot be fooled.